I look at this list here because it's not just Europa Clipper, which no, is that's successfully the most recent one. on route. It's just most recent. Hubble, Mars sample return, uh, the New Horizons to Pluto. But I got two other missions here, Veritas, which means truth, but that's all I know about it. And Viper, what are those? So Veritas is a mission to Venus. So I haven't had a mission to Venus in 40 years. It's not entirely hospitable. No, oh, well, but you want to have a look and see what, what have happened on Venus. Yeah. What happened on Venus, we don't want to happen on Earth. In fact, people talk about climate change now regularly. As I, as you know, I've been whining about it for- You've got a whole book. On climate, yes. Well, what's the name of that book? Uh, uh, Undeniable. Perhaps? Undeniable. Yes. yes. A whole book- talking about the reality of climate change and how to, how to spread that information against misinformation. Misinformation. Yes. Undeniable. from the fossil fuel industry who's mm -hmm. worked hard to make scientific uncertainty the same as doubt about the whole thing. Right. But that aside, you can argue that climate change on Earth was discovered by studying the atmosphere of Venus. Mm -hmm. And so uh, in 1984 or so. So... This is really an extraordinary thing. It's this classic Bruce Murray. What are you going to find when you go exploring these other worlds? We don't know. That's why we go exploring. So, Bill, what you just said reminds me of that quote from T.S. Eliot, where he says, "You, I'm going to mangle it, but the essence of it will be there. You explore the world, you know, see new places. Travel. 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 And then you come back home, and only then will you know your that place for the very go. first time. As I say, the more we explore these other worlds, the more we know about our own. That's that, is it a new field? Comparative planetology. Carl Sagan used to toss that phrase around like it was a real phrase. It's not like we're here and everything else is something else. That's we, right. And so, plus, can I tell you, one time I was delightfully outgeeked. I calculated how long it would take to cook a 16-inch pepperoni pizza on your uh, windowsill on Venus. Pretty quick. It would take seven seconds. Seven seconds. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I want I you to expand. So not only is it cook in seven seconds because of the temperature, did you take into account atmospheric pressure? Yes. Yeah. Back yes. to you. In my calculation, I considered, as you suggested, uh, what is the temperature of the air and how many air molecules are hitting it? Because yeah. it's got 10 times the pressure yeah, that we yeah. have here on Earth. Yeah. That's all factored in. Right? That's how I got down to seven so seconds. So bubbling pizzas is not hardly going to bubble. Okay, so I then got out geeked. Someone said, Neil, did you consider the thermodynamic radiative layer within the atmosphere? It's the optical depth. It's the distance over which a photon is no longer absorbed by the air and it goes to your target. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I hadn't. That's important. It's, it's why when you're in, in front of a fireplace and someone walks in front of it, you feel cold immediately. Yes. That's not the air temperature changing. No, it's radiation. It's ra I, I, I say sit across the room from your refrigerator, have somebody open the door, do this, do this, you'll feel the difference. Yes. Because of ra the photons radiating off your hand. Yes. And so I had neglected the, the radiative factor from the... Hot atmosphere. So how long does it really take? Two and, and a half seconds. Two and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's three times faster. <laughs> it's pretty fast. So yeah, if you got to get out geek. So if you're be there the with your pizza and you have some means to open a window without <laughs> exploding, dying, getting cooked, <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. But these are important yes. thought experiments because uh, they're physics. Yes. All science is either physics. Yes. Thank you.